We help people be independent, and whether you're a little child learning how to tie your shoes, to an older person who's just had a stroke and is having to relearn how to feed themselves, it's all about independence. It's about keeping people independent for as long as possible. We really want to strengthen the relationships between adults and children. By bringing the two generations together, we're very intentional with our activities to um, help strengthen that relationship and that both uh, generations are benefiting. What we're teaching the children is all about being good citizens, being kind, being respectful of others, you know, all those things. And it just happens naturally in this setting. One thing that comes with people who have dementia is also depression. And the kids just bring out smiles, you know. They're so natural and innocent and young that the older adults can't help but just smile and laugh at them. And, and anytime you smile, you create, you know, an endorphin in your brain that makes you happier. So we want to create that anytime we can. The kids bring this energy that it just brings joy, just pure joy to people's lives. And so for both the children and the elders, I think I, it's just a great thing. Lucy Ann's Place is an adult day center um, specifically for people who have early to moderate stages, dementia or Alzheimer's. Um, and we provide a respite for the caregiver and then also it's a really social program. So when people come, it's not um, just a center you go in and it's adult sitting. It goes well beyond that. We care about each individual. We focus on what strengths they bring. Um, and not focused on the problems or the needs that in that sense. We really try to focus on what is this individual, their life experiences, what they bring to the table, and how might we be able to integrate that with the rest of the center participants, the staff, the volunteers. And, and it's a real sense of community that's developed there. A lot of times what happens when somebody starts to get dementia is their social net that they had starts to diminish. Their friends stop calling them, um, they, start, they stop going to their clubs or whatnot, and they stay at home and just watch TV. And um, Lucy Ann's Place brings them out of their home and brings them to meet more people and they just start to develop bonds with the people that come in a non-judgmental environment. It's great because as I know Frank loves, loves coming here. He just loves it. Frank and Ron are just amazing, and we see those kind of friendships all the time. It was amazing to see because a lot of times when the guys come in or the ladies come in, they remember their group of friends that they sit with, but they may not remember their names. But these two gentlemen remembered each other's names, and you could tell that it created such a bond. And then through that bond, their wives started uh, talking with each other and, and meeting outside in the lobby and talking about you know how their day was or how their night was and they started to develop a support group with, with each other. My husband was very resistant at first and I finally had to say we're not doing this just for you, we're doing this for me. We know for a fact that caregivers give so much of themselves 24-7 that after a while if they don't have time to recharge their batteries Many times we see their health fail. So we really try to work with the caregivers with ways to reduce stress, give them respite. If you haven't been there 24-7, yeah. you don't have any idea. When you know that she's going through the same thing, it helps to have somebody to help support you and encourage you and you know what that person is dealing with. And the reason I came was because, like all of us that's in this group, we have some problems when we function. It kind of alleviates uh, the problems with my wife all the time. It's good that I come and she gets breaks, you know. It pleases me to know that I'm helping them when I get away. 
to you helping them? I don't remember you helping me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding about that. We have a good sense of humor. You know, when I first went partially blind, I didn't want to go out. I get into a grocery store and I get frustrated. I mean, I will pick up a can of, of chicken and well, it's, then it's tuna fish when I got home. So, you know, I just think, I'll oh, forget this. The home services piece is really instrumental in how we keep people living in their own homes, even after having some chronic illness or, or problems like that. It's just a great feeling when you go to pick up something and you deliver it to, from Safeway to the people. You meet all different kinds of people. And it's just really great because, you know, they, they just need help and they want to stay in their own homes. And that's the reason for it. You just walk out feeling really, really good. What, what happens when people are grocery shopping for someone, they are sort of that surrogate family for them, that person who's alone and may not be able to get out at all, may not have any family uh, close by to help them. So they become, the volunteers become that surrogate family. They chat, they become a friendly visitor. And in the case of Jean, who is um, fairly outgoing, they strike up a friendship and there's a relationship that's established, especially if that client has a regular shopper who shops for them, you know, weekly. Um, there's a rapport developed, a trust that's developed, and oftentimes a true friendship that forms. You want to talk. And we want to talk about anything and everything, you know, what's going on out there. We're interested. We're still there, you know, and want to listen and sometimes talk too much. But that's me. And uh, I just keep on going until they tell me to shut up. Tom is a very, very independent person. Uh, he was in sales, he's a people person, always doing a project, always, and never wanting or needing help. Every step sometimes is just a reminder, you know, that he's had a stroke. It's been very hard for him, but they have made it seem like they need him, and, and that's what I love. We pay a, a great attention to restoring people's skills and abilities and it gets back to those skills that help them be able to take care of themselves. So whether it's being able to dress yourself, feed yourself, you know, bathe yourself, all of those things and we all feel good when we can take care of our own selves. We are, we're going to his 50th class reunion in about 10 days back in Minnesota and I know if it weren't for Benavia, we wouldn't have even considered it. Well, if I didn't go to Benavia, I'd just be sitting at home, not doing a heck of a lot. After I started going there, I'd absolutely love it. And just to see him happy with himself, proud of himself, again, means so much, it really does. We didn't know what we needed or how much we needed it. They're like our family, they really are. Over the last 10 years that I've been involved with, with Benavia, the growth has been exponential, not only in the programs that we offer, but, um, but the demand itself. From its inception in uh, 1981, uh, we had 250 people we served. And last year we touched over 20,000 people. It's a bigger responsibility now, no question about it. Without our, without our investor donors, uh, we wouldn't be here. Without our volunteers, we wouldn't be here. And uh, we need both, you know, more than ever now. There's a magic to Benavia. The people that work here don't work here for money because they're not the most highly paid. They work here because they love it. And uh, I think that that's the way we feel. We feel when we walk in here, it's like family. Uh, just, it's a beautiful thing. At the end of the day, 
I, I am grateful that I've done something for someone else that uh, made a difference. And I look forward to the next day to have that opportunity again. I can't imagine doing anything else. They just make me smile. If I'm having a hard day, I go out and I play a game of cards and I know I'm laughing within five minutes. And it's so nice to, to get to know these people on a personal level and to become part of their family. It's that sense of fulfillment. I know the difference that it makes. Um, I've worked, uh, the first 10 and a half years here, I worked as a care manager. And I went into people's homes and it's meaningful work. You know, we, we are just human beings. We're actually pretty frail. And so when those times come and we are needing some extra help to give us uh, an opportunity to continue to have a small quality of life, our agency is, is there. This is the kind of uh, small task that means so much as we, as we age. And so all the things that we do as an agency, from adult day, to helping someone uh, get their groceries, to just making a phone call, what a difference that'll make. For us as an agency, I know all the different departments that do this, they really are excited to be able to do that. Whether you're a little one or you're an elder, it's all about having the best quality of life for everyone.